When it comes to products such as DJI, it is fair to say it gets many, many people incredibly excited with people always wanting the next brand new thing. It's just the same as people are with iPhones. We buy one of these but want to know what's coming next and it seems the rumor mill is going into overdrive of the talk of a new dji mini 4 pro now i've basically come across some photos that have been posted online so what i want to do in this video is just basically talk about the photos uh, the photo of the specification the box and just basically ascertain what we think to it um, and of course i'm always interested to hear your thoughts in the comment section below so please do join in in the comments and let me know what you think but essentially this is the dji mini 3 pro it was launched launched uh, well over a year ago now and this has served me perfectly well at uh, the time of launch incredibly innovative uh, with this vertical camera with its obstacle avoidance sensors and the fact that it was physically bigger it had a better wind resistance all really impressive for a drone under 249 grams i've always thought the only way that you could potentially expand on this two main features really um one would be giving it waypoints like we get on the dji mavic 3 series and of course the air 3 and most importantly for 360 obstacle avoidance beyond that i'm not entirely sure what you could improve on the dji mini 3 pro but you'll always expect dji to innovate but what we're going to do is just take a look at these photos and just see what the proposed specifications are and take a look at the front and basically figure out whether we think these photos are real or whether we think these specifications underwhelming overwhelming i'll let you decide so let's get straight into it so first of all well, i'm just going to put this photo on the screen you can see we've got a nice front view of what is proposed to be the dji mini 4 pro now now, just taking the initial look at the box, first of all, I have to just wade in here. I don't believe that any of these leaks are accidental. I believe they're fully intentional, guerrilla marketing, um, and that everybody, basically, these are released by DJI or by some third party just to put them out there to build excitement it's what you do you know these these leaks there's no point keeping them secret anymore there's no real competition to DJI so you know getting these leaks out early and building that suspense uh, and anticipation of a new product is basically what gets people excited which generally means you've got time to convince yourself to go buy it um, or that you need it so when it does launch you go and get one that's just marketing now, if you look at the photo, it does show the controller. This could be a Photoshop. It could be the DJI RC N1. It could be the new DJI RC N2 that launched with the DJI Air 3. Now, if this was me and I was leaking the product, I would certainly leak the box with the DJI RC controller. Um, with the screen, the RC2 uh, controller with the additional antennas, which, of course, as we know, is faster processing, etc., and does have those external antennas and promises Ocusync for technology. Um, but just generally looking at the front of it, um, I'm a little bit concerned. First of all, yeah, the obstacle avoidance sensors look legit, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Yeah, they do. Um, and obviously, it follows a similar design mode to the DJI Mini 3 Pro. But if we do look at the camera specification, you know, that 2.4 f1.7, that would be the exact same as the original DJI Mini 3 Pro. Do we honestly believe DJI are going to launch a new product and not improve the sensor size? I'm not too sure about that one. But anyway, that's just my personal thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's get on to the specification. So popping that photo on screen, we have got ultralight and foldable, and it is less than 249 grams. Absolutely expected. Omnidirectional active obstacle sensing. Yes, I would fully expect that as well. And again, in line with my expectations, intelligent features, focus track, waypoint, and hyperlapse. One of the major features that is going to come on the DJI Mini 4 when it comes, even if it's not this, it's going to have waypoints, isn't it? Um, it's the obvious natural progression and one of the most requested features. Um, however, okay, this is an interesting one. 4K at 100 frames per second. Now, I'm going to have to edit this bit out if I'm wrong, but even the Mavic 3 series and the DJI F3 doesn't have... 100 frames per second so i'd be very surprised that they're going to give that on the mini series drones um but stranger things have happened that's just my honest opinion okay um obviously we've got the hdr video we've got the 48 megapixel photos true vertical shooting all those things that i would expect now the next thing does actually concern me slightly 
34 minutes flight time, okay? Now, 34 minutes flight time, will we already get 34 minutes with this DJI Mini 3 Pro? And once again, it's about, do I honestly think that DJI would launch a new product without improving the flight time? I think that would be very odd, if I'm honest. Or the solution would potentially be they've made it light enough so you could potentially buy the plus battery if they're going to sell a plus battery, but then staying within the 249 gram limit, that would be an idea if they've done that. But essentially, I find that quite interesting. But once again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And the rest down at the bottom is just additional information in a language that looks to be potentially French. Please correct me if I'm wrong. So what do we think? Is this correct? Is it going to look like this? Do you think that specification is correct? I'm not too sure. Like I've already mentioned, I would expect it to have waypoints. I'd expect it to have omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. Would I expect it to have the same sensor? Possibly not. More importantly, if it's not going to improve the sensor or the image quality, would you really buy a brand new drone just for waypoints, just for obstacle avoidance, omnidirectional? I'm not too sure. But once again, these are the specifications. I'll leave these photos with you. Please do. Once again, I know I've probably repeated myself God knows how many times. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as to what you think to this. And yeah, let me know if it's something that interests you or we'll have a follow-up discussion on all of these specifications at a later date if you guys request it. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.